Okay, so recently Dogecoin has been making the rounds in news circles due to its ever-rising value. Now, I'm not going to comment on whether it's headed to the moon for years to come, or if it's Elon Musk's pump and dump scheme, since this is not an economics channel. This is, however, a tech, freedom, and privacy channel, and I feel it necessary to point out some important technical and ethical flaws in Dogecoin, which may disband its de facto status as the people's crypto. Dogecoin is not the people's crypto, and these are the reasons why. First of all, let's summarize how cryptocurrency works in a surface level and overgeneralizing way. When you perform a transaction using crypto, this transaction, including date of issue, sender, receiver, and amount sent, is all logged onto a public ledger or list of transaction known as the blockchain. This is why crypto transactions are so secure. Many people keep copies of them to verify their validity. However, the first major flaw that pops out is privacy concerns. Dogecoin, like most cryptos, has a blockchain explorer, where you can search for every single transaction ever made on the Dogecoin network. So so I can take one Dogecoin wallet address and see all the money it's ever received, all the money it's ever sent to, and where that money came from and where that money's going. Okay, so most cryptos, including Dogecoin, have a very non-private way of sharing transactions. Big deal. How is somebody going to tell who I am from that wallet address? It's completely anonymous. Except you're completely wrong. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Dogecoin are not anonymous. They're instead referred to as pseudonymous. This is the same as using something like a gamer tag or a username on your favorite chat website. <laughs> Sure, people may not know who you are personally, but they do know everything you've ever done, simply because it's under that specific name or address. Also, consider that a lot of people these days use cryptocurrency exchanges, and cryptocurrency exchanges ask for your first name, last name, and sometimes even your ID. So if the information from these exchanges get leaked, you're basically done for. Someone will be able to link these crypto wallet addresses to your person, and then any layer of security, privacy, or anonymity is gone. This major anonymity and privacy design flaw applies to most most cryptos, including Dogecoin. So is Dogecoin really the people's crypto if there's no privacy or anonymity? Well, no, at least not to anyone who actually cares about setting a new standard for currency. But I'm not done yet. There is still one more flaw I want to point out, and I also want to point out a solution to these problems. Okay, so in the beginning of Bitcoin, it did become quite popular with criminal trade, to the point where many ignorant people associate cryptocurrencies entirely with illegal trade and money laundering. As more people use cryptocurrencies as legitimate currencies, the problem of dirty bitcoins has began to show up. Dirty bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are coins that have been used for illegal activity in the past. If you obtain any dirty coins, even completely honestly, and then try to spend them, many storefronts will refuse your money because they can run AML checks that track the crypto's history to figure out that it was used in illegal transactions. Even if you're completely innocent, you will not be able to spend that crypto. And while we haven't really seen this issue affect Dogecoin, if it does get more popular and more people start using it, then this may become a very real problem. So, once again, is Dogecoin really the people's crypto? It has no privacy, it's pseudonymous, and your money could even be refused for actions you didn't even commit. I would definitely not call Dogecoin and most other cryptos the people's crypto because of these major flaws. However, there is a crypto that surpasses all these problems. A currency that is truly private, truly anonymous, and can never be dirty. I'm of course talking about Monero, which in my opinion is the proper people's crypto. Monero uses various techniques, like stealth addresses and rig signatures to make sure that nobody actually can tell where your money is going or where it came from. If you want to learn more about the technical details of Monero, I totally recommend you go to the website linked in the description, getmonero.org, where you can not only learn more, but you can also set up your own Monero wallet and start sending and receiving Monero. While I don't think Dogecoin is the people's crypto, I think Monero has a very good chance of becoming it. So yeah, I've been Denchi, this was a technical video on crypto, goodbye.